So I'm going to show you how, to, how you might want to analyze the, the bot. So what we'll do is we'll start up two virtual machines. Okay. I'm just using Kali in this case, but you can use Windows or uh, Ubuntu if, if you want. So we'll just get started up. And then what we'll do is we'll run the bot on one network and the controller on another network. What we're going to do is we're going to set the we set up our own network and then both the machines will connect to the same network and then we're going to set the bot to be able to connect to the controller by specifying its IP address. Okay, so we'll just get uh, logged in here and here. Okay, so it's up to yourself if you want to analyze the the PCAP files offline or with inside Kali. We've installed Kali on, we've installed Snort on Kali, so you should be okay then to analyze it on the virtual machines, or you can put in a USB stick and download it onto your PC. Okay, so, so we've not got anything installed here just now, so we'll just go ahead and we'll just download the bot. Uh, so it's non-malicious, so don't worry, it shouldn't cause any problems. And botnet .rar. Okay, we'll just save that one. And we'll stick it on the desktop. Okay, that's good. Alright. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll just extract that and we'll put it into the root folder. Okay, so just let me quit here. Quit. And there we go. Okay, perfect. And then over here. So once we've once you've downloaded the bot, then you can actually take it offline, and then you can do your analysis. Okay, so so it's best that you get your bot downloaded onto your virtual machines, and then what we'll do is we'll put it on to another network, and it won't be able to connect to the internet. It's good practice. And so we'll do the same over here. So it's bonnet or rar. Okay, let's just uh, save that file and I'll put it onto the desktop again. And here we are. Okay, so we should be good to go from there. And so I'm just going to extract that and I'll put it in there. Um, we should be okay to go. Okay, so I've now got it on both machines. So I'm going to run the bot on one machine. Let's say this one can be the bot and the other one will be the controller. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so we've got it there. That's fine. So what I'll do is I'll make this one the controller and then this one the bot. Okay. So because we're running Linux, I'm going to be running Mono. So Mono will be able to run the controller. Hopefully. There we go. That's fine. That's running. And what we'll do first, and it's important that you do this, is that let's select uh, an IP address. And uh, so let's see Ethernet zero. So select your network. Okay, so try and make it unique if you can. So I'm going to pick ten dot ten dot one dot one uh, with a net mask of two five five two five five two five dot zero. Okay, so this is going to take it off the network. So we've got everything downloaded. Everything's fine. Okay, so just let me check that that's okay. That's fine. And so this has got to be in the same network. Okay, we can have a firewall in between if we want, uh, but what we'll do is we'll just take it on to the, on to another network. So, Ethernet 
ゼロそれ I have config if ゼロ ten dot ten dot ten dot one dot two and that's mask of that there we go so let's ping the other machine to see if it's alive and it is and then we'll see if this machine can see the other machine it can okay so we're all set up so now what we've got to do is run the controller and now what we've got to do first is run Wireshark so let's run Wireshark So I'm going to capture from there and I'm going to start. That's great. Okay, we'll let that run in the background. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the controller. So that's mono controller. Do you see? Good. And it's just going to wait there. So over here, uh, I run the 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 bot. Okay. So you should find it gives you that. So what to do is to put in the address of the controller, which I think was that. There we go. And just let them talk to each other. And we'll see what happens. Oh. Okay, so you can see something is happening there. Okay, so you can let them talk to each other. And then eventually uh, we can stop the trace. So what we'll do, we'll just, we'll just get them to stop them. And we'll stop them. And then what we can do is then have a look at the Wireshark trace, and we can stop. Okay, so so we've seen a lot of uh, traffic in there, but what we can obviously do is we can have a look at the uh, the traffic that was really just generated by our little bot. And then it's there. Okay. Isn't that lovely? Okay, we can actually have a look at the streams. Oh, there we go. Oops, been a lot of conversation there. Looks a bit strange. Okay, and then uh, if you want, so just quit that. If you want, you can even mount your USB stick. Okay, so I've just connected here. Just it's a little minute for it to to mount onto the system. But you should find uh, that uh, once it's mounted, it will mount your USB stick onto your uh, device quite happily. Ah, so I should have uh, should have actually saved saved my Wireshark trace then. So let me actually run it again, and what I'll do is I'll show you some snort analysis there. Okay, so we'll run again. Oops, let's start Wireshark again. So then what we'll actually do is we'll just uh, stop it there. OK, 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. As a PCAP file. So it's called bot trace. So then you should find the snort is, is installed. So we can do snort uh, minus C for our rules file. So what I'll do is I'll create a very simple rules file. And let me see if I've got one already set up. Let's just grab this one here. So let's detect any sins. Okay, so we have a bot trace. Okay, so you've got various options in there. So you should find the minus C option is for the rules file, minus R is for the PCAP file. So there is minus R. So it's a TCP dump file. There we go. Okay, so we've got two alerts. Fantastic. So let's have a little look. And here we go. Yeah. So so what? So you can see here there were the connections. There's port five thousand, port five thousand one. Okay, so we've uh, that's our very simple snort rule. Uh, not really much to it. But this is detecting the sins between the bot and the botnet. And then this was the command that we used. If I can find it. Mm, here. Here. Minus L and then log. And that was it. Okay, we created the log folder. We got the trace and that was it. Okay, so we'll get you set up with your virtual machines. Uh, and then you'll be able to, to look after them uh, yourself. Okay. Uh, there'll be more presentations, so I'll give an overview in, in the lecture.